Someone once told me, the sea is like a cruel mistress. You can love her, you can hate her, but you can never trust her. We are sailing by like five miles of beautiful beaches through the Everglades. Becoming a sailor has made me appreciate things a lot more. I appreciate air conditioning and a cold drink so much more now, and that's for the simple fact that Windfall doesn't have a fridge. I think I understand money more now too, in that fact that once you make enough to live and go out, do the things that make you happy. If I have enough to fill my belly and go have a beer at the end of the day, I think I'm the richest person in the world. Becoming a sailor has also taught me to enjoy the simple things, kicking back, relaxing, in the sun, with the waves underneath you, and the wind in your hair. It's so simple. I would never thought I would be so happy. We only had 35 nautical miles to go today. It wasn't a very long sail, but of course there was no wind at all, so we really didn't go very fast. We were rolling at about two knots, and it took us all day. But that's okay because we knew it was our last sail till the Keys. All right, so we finally uh, ran into a crab pot, which is a buoy with a rope attached to it. And um, there's a box on the bottom for crabs and we kind of been have to watch out for them because they're everywhere. One finally got caught up on our prop. We knew it would happen eventually, so now we gotta cut it off. These annoying things are scattered by the hundreds all over the ocean floor. Just one of the things that we have to look out for when we're out there sailing. Dad finally got it off and luckily for us it had, did not damage our prop at all, but in a different circumstance that could have been a lot worse. The closer we got, the more excited we got to finally arrive in the Keys after four and a half months out at sea. Entering the Atlantic Ocean right now. This is the Atlantic side. So that's pretty cool. We're going through Seven Mile Bridge right now. And then we're headed down this way to find uh, our anchorage. That old, the old bridge up there is uh, the movie True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's where they filmed the uh, last, uh, the last scene in the movie. The old came, bridge. They were coming down the, coming down the road, and they went off the end of the bridge. Very that was, uh, cool. Car. That's where they filmed it. That's Dang. when they grabbed. Uh, we'll have to watch that scene. They grabbed, they grabbed uh, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis out of the car as that car went off. Hmm. We'll have to watch that. Well, this is our anchorage. Look at all the boats in there. We have to find a spot in there, so wish us luck. As we cruised into the busiest anchorage we've ever seen, we knew it would probably be a challenge to find a place to anchor. After 1,800 nautical miles, six different rivers, including the Mississippi River, 47 different locks, numerous cities, numerous people and places later, we finally dropped anchor in the Keys. We were all overwhelmed with nostalgia. Decided to head into the Keys and see what we could find. There are roosters everywhere. 
there. Look at. Look at them. Look at the roosters. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, okay, so we are in the Keys finally, yay! But the second we get here, um, we hear that there is going to be a huge cold front coming through. We're in Mobile Bay, or we're in a Marathon right now. And um, it's gonna be like 30, 30 knot winds, 35 gusts for the next like two days. As you can see right here, it's like dead calm. So I think this is definitely the calm before the storm. But um, we're in the busiest anchorage we've ever been in. I mean, there are boats just my, a mile that way, e and even outside of the other side of the bridge, anchored. And then there's a huge mooring field this way, all through there, and um, definitely one of the busiest anchorages, and we all have to brave the storm together, basically. Oh. Wish us luck. We'll keep you posted. It was a pretty cool thing to see hundreds and hundreds of boats all weathering the storm together. We all hunkered down and prepared for the worst, hoped for the best. All right, it's getting bad. gusts for two full days so we were hunkered down in the boat for that whole time which wasn't really the best opening to the keys but that's all right we took it anyway next day, Dad sat and watched the boat since it was still pretty windy, and Wade and I took off for a little road trip to Key West. Alright, we're going on a road trip to get my new phone! It's been like three weeks of not having a phone, and I'm really excited to finally have one again. I'll be posting Instagram pictures again. Wade had been a day ahead of us, so he was in Key West before us, and he met um, a girl there, actually. Her name was Sea Star, I believe. She was staying on a really nice catamaran. So when we went there, we went to see her, and she showed us around. I definitely didn't mind hanging out on this beautiful catamaran for the day. Look at this catamaran! Look at the shower! Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> that is ridiculous. All right, we're here in Key West. We're so here. Just uh, hanging out on this beautiful catamaran. Wade's friend... Uh, is staying on so we're able to kind of check it out it is so nice look at all the space on this thing i'm like in heaven right now this is the cool the nicest boat i've ever been on that is crazy that is a month's but wage back then but they also equated value by one piece of eight how many pieces of eight things were because they knew every piece of eight was one ounce. So if you were trading with Spain and maybe you were buying tobacco from them and you may pay in 500 pieces of eight, they knew that was 500 ounces. So everything was weight to value in how many pieces of eight things were. And that's why when you hear the pirates always after the Spanish galleons and yeah. they'll go, oh, there's thousands of pieces of eight because then they knew what that meant in value. Yeah. That's how everything was equated. That's why most money in that time was these minted. That they made so very small cool. few little coins. And the ones that weren't minted were the illegal pieces that they would be taking over illegally, right? Well, the they ones that didn't have the some, stamps on them. They just didn't them. make abundance of them, yeah. Key West had its own feel to it. It was very green. It was 86 degree weather, beautiful palm trees gorgeous blue water. Needless to say, I could get used to this. 
Right now we're in Almorada. We, we went past Marathon to Almorada so that Boggs could check out an anchorage. Ooh, I like this walkway. Ooh, I like this walkway. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice walkway. And it doesn't stink. It doesn't smell like mangroves. It doesn't smell like mangroves, even though these are pretty much mangroves, right? Wade doesn't really like the touristy spots, so he wanted to go to Almorada to check out an anchorage because he wanted to get work in Almorada and stay there for the, for the season. So we went to check out the anchorage, but it wasn't exactly what he was looking for. Hopefully he finds something better. That night we made it back to Marathon just in time for the sunset. Thank you for watching everybody. Cheers!